the constitution of india preamble we the people of india having solemnly resolved to constitute india into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice social economic and political liberty of thought expression belief faith and worship equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution hello my dear children welcome back in the previous class we were discussing the chapter a village puram we saw the author describing the visuals that she saw on a puram ground and also the entry of the pudan and tira which comes each home to announce the coming of the puram right now let us continue the lesson the puram ground sees the blossoming of many art forms be it classical folk or contemporary from kathakali to carnatic vocal concerts to mimicry to ballet which is the local term for a musical performance involving many costumes songs and dancing with a thin plot line woven to hold it all together artists are invited from all parts of kerala and each year the temple committee tries to outwit the previous committee's performance so here she describes the different art forms that we could see in the puram be it classical folk or contemporary classical means shastriya maya and folk is relating to the traditional art form of a community or nation nadodi okay and contemporary is samagalikam allengil ore kalagattathilulla okay so all these art forms that is kadagali carnatic vocal concerts mimicry ballet which is a dance form that involves many costumes songs and dancing with a thin plot line to blend it all artists from all parts of kerala are invited who outwit the previous committee's performance that is each committee tries to make the performance better than the previous one okay it is the day of the kalavela one of the typical sites of a north kerala temple puram is the kala made of straw built around a bamboo frame and dressed ostentatiously with sequins mirrors and brilliant colors each pair is created to outshine the rest more than 25 to 30 kalas come from various villages and wait at the kala parambu we walk around each pair examining its exquisite handy work when we stop to admire one pair the group responsible for it preens in delight for the moment they have scored a victory over the rest puram day is also the day of kalavela kalavela is one of the most typical sites of north kerala temple puram usually the oxen or kala are made of straw built around a bamboo frame and it would be decorated attractively with sequins mirrors and brilliant colors to outshine the rest outshine means mattondine ka vachu vekkuna okay and ostentatiously means attractively more than 25 to 30 kalas come from various villages and wait at the kala parambar or oxen ground okay when people walk around admiring each pair of the kalas each group feels proud having a feeling that they have scored a victory over the rest okay and then starts the pyrotechnics rows of iron cylinders are kept on the ground filled with gunpowder and as one is lit the spark from it sets the other one off the explosions rock the ground fill your ears and rock within your heart and by the time you recover from it the drum begin their thunderous music so the next stage of the puram is the pyrotechnics that is fireworks 
Iron cylinders filled with gunpowder are kept on the ground. And when one is lit, the spark from it sets the other one off. You can imagine the condition when the fireworks starts, right? The explosion creates high vibes in your body. And by the time you've recovered from the fireworks, the explosion, the drums will be played with their thunderous music. Okay. For once, each of us is lost in individual worlds. The older folk remember Purams from the past. And as always, compare this one to those in their memories, now further enriched by age. The visuals in the Puram ground takes us to another world where the old people remember Purams from the past, compare this with the old one and understand the changes happening. Here the lesson ends. Is it clear children? Okay. Through this lesson, we get a clear and vivid picture of Puram. The author describes the visuals of Puram in such a way that it always lingers in our mind and we could relate this with our village Puram experience. Hope you understood the lesson. Go through the lesson and study well the new words which is of great use for us in the future. Okay. And that's all for the day. I'll meet you in the next class. Till then, take care. Thank you.